know, tapping in with my folks this morning. How y'all doing? Hope all is well out there. Hope everybody's prayed up this morning. Everybody had a uh, this morning. I'm sorry, everybody is having a blessed morning or day or night or wherever you may be at. I hope your day is going smooth. Just want to tap in y'all or we'll tap in and um share something out of first john uh this is first john uh this is one and eight it says if we if we say that we sin that we have no sin sorry if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. My little children, these things I write unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yahweh the righteous. Yahweh I call his name in the Hebrew tongue. For those who just hearing that name. And he is the appropriation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So, we can't lie to ourselves and say that we have no sin because we all fall short, you know? And that's the great thing about having the Most High, Yahweh Shai. Um, for having Him with us, you know, because he laid himself down so that we can, you know, have a better relationship with the, with, with, with God. So, um, we can't deceive ourselves and act like we are, we're all righteous and we have not done wrong in the most high eyes you know because if we do that especially living in the world that we live in and you know we already know that we're deceiving ourselves you know how can you not how can you walk a straight path a righteous path in a world with so much sin in it only it's, it's only one way you can do that you, you have to go through your house shot you have to let the most high you have to let the most high guide you and lead you you know that's why the scriptures say come out of her my people you know quit don't partake in the sinful ways of this place you know so uh, let's jump down over to 15 2 and 15, it say, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You see, so that's why the Most High don't want us loving this world, because this world is so sinful, you know, and he chose us to walk in his righteous path, in his straight path. So even the Father never love this world so um, let's jump down to 21 2 and 21 first John 2 and 21 it say I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth but because ye know it so we know the truth the truth is written for us And that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar, but he that denied 
that Yahweh is the is the Christ. He is he is Antichrist that denied the Father and the Son. So if you deny the Father and the Son, you are an Antichrist. You are against the Most High and His Son. Whosoever denied the Son, the same had not the Father. But he that acknowledged the Son had the Father also. So you can't get to the Father without going through the Son. Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. You see? So we have to we have to go through Yahweh to get to the Father. You can't deny the Father, deny the Son and the Father. Like, no, He didn't set it up that way. Okay. Let's jump down to three and eight. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. You see? So that's the whole power of Yahweh Shah coming back. To destroy the works of the devil. To destroy all the lies. And all the systems that's put in place to keep God's people down. Whosoever is born of God do not commit sin. For his seed, for his seed, meaning God's people, remaineth in him. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. And this and this children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Let me read that again. And this, and this children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever do not righteousness is not of God, neither he that love not his brother. So you can't hate your brother, even if you hate your brother or your sister, you're not of God. You can't have hate in your heart for your sister or your brother. You know, even though, you know, we... we we seem to get into it a lot, you know, over things, and we fight, and we fight amongst each other, but we can't have the hate in our heart. We have to let things go, you know. The most I definitely don't want us out here killing each other. For this message that ye have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, that we have to love one another. We can't even enter into the kingdom if we don't love one another. Not as Cain, because you remember what Cain did to his brother, right? Who was of that wicked one and slew his brother and wherefore slew, him, slew he him because his own works were evil. You see that? And his brother righteous. So Cain slew Abel because he was jealous, you know. Cain was the wicked one, and Abel was the righteous one. So it's the same way today, man. We can't have, we can't hate our brother in our heart, you know. We have to learn how to let things go and move on and move forward, so we can get our blessings from the Most High. We can't hold on to grudges, you know, with people. I know sometimes, you know, like, uh, you know, we get mad and get upset with one another, but at the end of the day, the Most High definitely doesn't want us um, killing each other out here. Okay. So let's jump over to uh, the Galatians.
Going down to Galatians um, 6. Galatians 6 and 9. Let's start there. Is it Galatians 6 and 9? Yeah. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So we have to hold on to the faith. And, and, and don't give that up, you know, because once we give up the faith, you know, we pretty much giving up on the most high. You know, we have to keep that faith and faint not. You know, verse 10 says, as we, therefore, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially, especially unto men who are of the household of faith. So especially to your, your men who's in, in walking in that truth, your man who's preaching the Bible, your man who's preaching his word, like we definitely have to do right towards one another because that's definitely a commandment from the Most High. You know? Let's read. Let's jump over to um, 4 and 26 in Galatians. It say, but Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is a people before a place. And we are that people. And the most high say, Jerusalem, Jerusalem is above, is free, and the mother of us all. Why? Because we are the firstborn. We are the first people. All creations came out of us. You know, for it is written, Rejoice, thou barren that bearest not, break forth and cry that the travail is not, for the desolate hath many more children than she which hath a husband. Now we, brother, as Isaac was, are the children of the promise, but as then. He that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit. Even so, it is now. Nevertheless, who said the scripture, cast out the bondwoman and her son? For the son of the bondwoman shall not be here with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman but of the free. See? We're children of the free. So, I wanted to share that with you guys this morning. Uh, I really appreciate you guys for listening, for listening to the word, and coming to my channel to support. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a pastor. I've been taught the word, the truth, and it's my duty to share this to my people. Whether you want to accept it or not, that's on you. But I have to put the word out there. With that being said, I'll be back with the next one. Everybody enjoy your day. Um, be safe out there. Drink plenty of water. And I'll see you the next one. Peace.